Oh my God, welcome back. Welcome, thank you for watching. I see you, I see what you're doing. That's great. Okay, good, that's, that's good. Guys, I promised you a treat, and here it is. Uh, this uh, man in front of you, Frank Nelson, is going to perform some stand-up for us. And uh, he is a regular in the comedy scene in New York City. I've seen him since he was a baby. Um, a little baby, yes. But look at him, he's a whole person now. He's a grown man. And uh, <laughs> you can catch him at any club in the city. Uh, without further ado, please put your hands together for Frank Nelson, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Callie. Thank you so much. Uh, I came up here. I was like, I'm going to be on TV. I was going to wear a nice shirt. Uh, I'm, run, I'm unemployed. I'll tell you my situation. I'm unemployed, so I'm running out of a lot of clothes. Uh, I was running low. And it's weird because when you get tagged in a Facebook post, that's the one less outfit that you can wear outside because uh, people will notice that you're not wearing it. Uh, but I got a new shirt, and uh, it was funny because uh, I wore that shirt on a date, and uh, she said, Oh, you know, you look very nice. You look exactly like your Tinder profile. And I was like, thank you. And she's like, no, you look exactly like your Tinder profile. It's the same outfit you're wearing <laughs> right now. Really embarrassing. Really embarrassing. But yes, I am unemployed. Uh, I, I don't miss working. I don't. What I do miss, however, I do miss getting the AM New York in the morning. Uh, America, if you don't know what the AM New York is, AM New York is this lovely free newspaper that they like throw at your face on your way to work which is really great. And the AM New York is full of great, like really short articles. And in the back there's weird stuff about like varicose vein removals and like back massages, weird stuff like that. Uh, but it, again, I do miss the articles. I miss how short they are, really short to the point details. Like I remember one time I was reading this article about how there was a rapist in Staten Island. And that was the end of the article, guys. That was it. No other details needed. Um, but yeah, but now I just stay at home. Uh, I, pl I play a lot of I play a lot of Xbox. Do that. I watch a lot of Netflix. I know you guys. I love Netflix. It's a big favorite of mine. Uh, but Netflix is very fun. Don't get me wrong. But there's a point when Netflix stops being fun. Okay. Uh, and that's when your ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend are using your Netflix account uh, <laughs> for their own personal personal amusement. Very unlucky, unsituated, uh, fortunate situation I'm, I'm in right now. Uh, it's very weird. I, will, I go to my Netflix queue and I see the movies they've been watching together. It's very awkward. I see they've been watching stuff like You've Got Mail. You know what I mean? And I was like, that was our movie. You know what I mean? I was Tom Hanks. You know what I'm saying? That was me. It's very awkward. But it's cool because I found a way to get back at them. Um, I noticed that my ex-girlfriend, she, uh, she likes to watch certain shows. You know what I mean? So what I like to do... I like to go to the show that she's watching, right? Mm -hmm. And then I go to the very last episode of that show, right? Mm -hmm. And then I go to the very last scene of the very last episode of that show. And then I pause it. I pause it right there, guys. So when she gets back to the show and plays it, I just ruined the whole show for her, guys. Yeah. It's great. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. Everyone, if you're going to that situation, I recommend you trying it. It's great. Um, What's going on? Uh, I love these guys. I take the train a lot. Uh, it's wonderful. I love seeing these guys on the train. Um, I like to call them the shadow rappers. You may have seen some of these people. Uh, so a shadow rapper is a guy on the train. He likes to listen to music and loud rap music, but he doesn't annoy you by uh, rapping the lyrics. He annoys you by doing the, uh, let me see, the choreography of the gunplay that's involved <laughs> with the music. Uh, it's very awkward. Like I remember one time I was on a train. I was on like a shadow rapper's dream train. Uh, I like to call it. There was one guy. He was doing the gunplay, and then he proceeded to reload his gun. He made a ch -ch noise as he did it. Very weird. Uh, another guy was on the train, shadow rapping. He had a bow and arrow situation on the train, which is very weird. He just had a bow and arrow. He was just aiming it at people while rapping lyrics, and then he was throwing like tomahawks at people. It was very awkward, very awkward, very awkward. Um, but yeah, but New York is great. I see a lot of cool stuff in New York. Uh, it's weird. New York has the ability to make you feel really bad about yourself, but then you see something really cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I remember one time I was, walking, I was walking down the street and I saw a Rolls Royce drive right by. I was like, wow, that's, that's fantastic. I've never seen a Rolls Royce up close like that. It looked great. 
And then I realized, like, I'm never going to have a Rolls Royce in my life, probably. But that's not in, my, that's not in the game plan for me. Um, or like how one time I was walking through the park, and I saw these two little six-year-olds holding hands in the park. And I was like, oh, that is so sweet. That's so adorable. But then I realized that my jealousy for people in relationships doesn't have an age restriction. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I saw those two little six-year-olds holding hands, and I was like, you know what? Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys. Screw you and your love and what it represents, OK? <laughs> Hate it so much. Um, let see what else is happening. I live in Brooklyn now. Uh, I was from Newark. Had to get up out of there. It was a dangerous situation, but I'm in Brooklyn. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. I, I do like my apartment, uh, I'll, although it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Um, like, I remember was, I was watching, I was, I was at my place, and I was watching that movie, American Sniper, with Bradley Cooper. And there are scenes in American Sniper where Bradley Cooper's going th through the apartments in Iraq. And it was kind of strange, because I was looking at the apartments, and I was looking at my place, and I was like, that looks like the same place. <laughs> the same exact place. Like, wow, man, they got a hole in their radiator, too. It's amazing. It's a great feeling. You know, you share something in common with people. Um, I'll see y'all in on one weird joke for you guys. Um, also, since I'm, since I'm unemployed, I, I like to watch a lot of porn. I do that. Yeah. My favorite kind of porn, I have a favorite, my favorite kind of porn uh, is snuff porn. All right? And it's not that, I know you're looking at me kind of weird, American. Don't look at me like that. It's not that kind of porn. Snuff, the snuff porn I'm talking about is the porn where people chew tobacco while having sex. <laughs> that kind of snuff, guys. Hey, my name is Frank Nelson. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Callie. Frank Nelson, everybody. Thank you so Frank much. Nelson. Thank you. America. Wow. America. Cable. Uh, women really don't like it when you look at them and do this. <laughs> Guy walks up to me and he says, oh my God, you smell amazing. Do you have perfume on? And he smelled my hair.